Welcome back. As you just saw while we were out fishing with Neville, we encountered a huge school of dolphins. Now that brought to mind some adventures that we had during our last trip to Hamilton Island when we talked to John, the dolphin trainer, about dolphins in captivity and the way in which they're trained. It's an interesting exercise in rewarding the dolphins for doing the right thing, but not having any way in which to punish them for doing the wrong thing, isn't it? That's right, it's very hard to enter, enter the water and, uh, as you would a, a dog and uh, be able to show it well, what, what you want them to do. So you have to... Uh, it's a process of elimination. This is right, and the, one of the most useful things is a, a dog training whistle. Right. And, uh, each time that this is used, uh, the animal knows that it's doing what you want it to do right. and that it will be uh, rewarded with its uh, food, the fish. Well, can you show us, say, a, a bow or one of those tricks and, yes. and show us how all that happens? Yes. Okay. Come on, Buttons. Over here. That's good. Yes, Speedy, we're coming. Okay, girls, like a big bow. Come on. Both together. Notice there, they kept bowing until I blew until the whistle. Blew the whistle so let them know that so they've blowing, done what they want. Blowing the whistle tells them that they've done well, that the trick's over, and that they can come back for their fish. For the reward, that's right, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Have you taught them to wave, wave their tails? Well, it was a natural behaviour that, uh, that I caught both Buttons and uh, Speedy doing, and I've improved on it by getting her to wave a tail. Previously, she was just holding it straight in the right. air. What, what about a tail walk? Let, let, let's see a tail walk. Now, you use the wand for position. Well, I'm using this because I'm retraining uh, buttons. Uh, she wasn't getting up quite as high as she used to, so I've come back to starting her off again right. uh, with the wand. But later on, I will do away with this and just use my right. hand. Right. But uh, you, you'll see that she's getting up uh, fairly high on her tail. That's it. Now she returns for her uh, reward. They're capable of spontaneous behaviour. Mm -hmm. They're intelligent enough to be able to relate cause with result or action with result. Mm -hmm. And um, they're also intelligent enough to be able to decide how they want you to behave and endeavour to, re to reverse the process and train you. This is right and they love uh, her affection too and the more not only re uh, reward them with uh, food but you also uh, reward them with uh, affection by yeah. touching them or yeah. scratching them, whichever yeah. you want. So I hold my hand out like that and wave my hand and she, she'll shake, shake flippers mm -hmm. with me. Yeah. <laughs> and then when she does, I give her a fish to let her know she's done well. Buttons also, it's just a uh, Do they get uh, jealous if, you, if they don't do, both do the same things? Oh, very much so. Do and they? Buttons being the mother of Speedy, she is the dominant one of the two and <laughs> She will always uh, say you throw a ball in, two balls in, she'll always go for the one that's thrown first. Right. And Speedy knows that, you know, that, 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 that that's so her, she's her ball one, yeah. Yeah, and she... It's been a great pleasure to talk to you and uh, it's certainly been a great pleasure to meet the girls. Thanks, oh, yes, John. Yes. Good. Okay, Good. Good girl. Okay, Speedy, your turn. Come on. Shake in. That's it. A... 